everybody, this is Royce here with Gage 3 Designs, and I'm back with another episode. Today, uh, we're back with the A-Frame, and um, I just want to show how I added this topography here. Um, so, as you can see, this sits, this porch, um, well, let's go ahead and go to the south view. So, the porch is actually sitting on grade on this porch, like from, from this end to about there and uh, and it starts to drop um, exposing this timber that's holding up this end of the porch um, so I just want to show how I added that in and uh, how you can add topography so let's go go ahead and just got here all right so make sure you are in sight view um, okay so you're gonna go to your uh, massing um, let's go to, to uh, topo surface and from topo surface so I know I want let's just start randomly here I want those to be at a zero elevation and Maybe about here we'll keep it at zero also. Now we're going to want to start to drop. So you're going to want to put like negative. Um, let's drop it down significantly. Let's go like five feet here. And let's do the same about there. Let's drop it some more. Let's go 10 feet here, here. And we'll level off here. Okay. Now let's see what this looks like in 3D view. Okay. So, so there you see we have that that slope there. You know, um, actually these. So you see how this is actually lined up with the top of the porch. We don't really want that. We want it to kind of fall beneath, uh, which is about I believe it should be six inches. Um, let's see here. Front view, let's try to get, uh, let's go to south actually. Okay, let's get a dimension from here to here. Okay, we're at 10, three quarter. So let's drop it down. So we'll just go back to our, uh, let's go back to our site view. We'll click on the topography and we'll edit the surface and uh, all those points that are at zero let's drop them down to a negative 10 and three quarters so that one let's see if we can do them all at the same time yeah actually this one was our five okay so this one this one and this one and we'll Drop that down to 10.75. Let's put a negative there. All right. Now let's take another look at it. There we go. Now the porch sits on grade. Um, and we have that slope that we want. And also, so you see how it's kind of open here or whatever. Let's just go ahead and let's just go over to our properties. I think it's sections section box yeah here we go let me just hit that there bring it in a little bit okay bring it in there bring it in in the back bring it in here so now you kind of got a got a better view so when you do if you're going to do like a section or an elevation you know it looks a lot better you know you have to have it sitting on grade um, it's not so open anymore. Um, you see the timber going into the ground and it's coming back up to support this porch. So, um, so that's how I uh, add my topography. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative. And uh, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. And if you're interested in downloading this file, um, you can go to gates3designs.net and uh, you can find it there. Um, thanks for watching. Hey everybody, I'd like to direct you to a website, gates3designs.net. So if you're interested in 
downloading any of the models I created to create my renderings, you can come here and under SketchUp models, you can find a lot of the models that I use for my YouTube videos. If you notice when I start my models, it's in a blank canvas form and you can download that form, that, that blank canvas form here and take a stab at creating your own renderings. Whether it's Thea Render or uh, Lumion or whatever you want to use um, through SketchUp, you have models here that you could use if you'd like to. A lot of my models um, I create in Revit, so I'm also uploading a lot of the Revit files that I use to create these models. So if you want to take a stab at learning Revit or using Revit, you can download those files here also.